Here we go. Uh, okay, I'm in the Volfoni booth with... Jerome Hamaker, and I'm VP Marketing and Sales for the Volfoni Group. And uh, Clement just asked me about our product, the Smart Crystal um, Pro and the Smart Crystal Cinema, and how they work and what they do. So um, maybe I just uh, recap that quickly. Yeah. So the initial idea is that today we have lots of 3D products ready for the living room, which are projectors like this, or a 3D source, content source like this uh, PlayStation. Yes. Um, today, the idea from the manufacturer is that they would work with um, active glasses, with liquid crystal closing and opening at a very high frequency to create this 3D image. Now these uh, glasses are a bit heavy, they have electronics, they need batteries, they need recharging. So there's a big demand to make that easier with light glasses so-called polarized glasses, um, as you know them from a lot of cinemas. So the idea is we have a projector that still brings out left and right images, the one after the other, but instead of having the liquid crystal in the glasses, we put liquid crystal in this Smart Crystal Pro. So and actually, just to clarify too, so you do need to still have a three, like a 3D capable digital projector. Yes, you need a 3D content source, okay. this means a special 3D film, yep. or an architecture program providing 3D images uh, through uh, the PC, and then it goes through the 3D projector, and here now with this Smart Crystal Pro, instead of obscuring the wrong images, we are changing the polarization left and right on each image. Now with this, you can then use very simple polarized glasses and uh, of course you can do tricks if you have very good glasses and uh, show that. Now, do you guys develop these glasses yourselves too? These glasses are designed by Volfoni. Okay. So these are Volfoni glasses and um, when you have these polarized glasses, the only trick is you still need a polarization preserving screen which commonly is called a silver screen. Okay. okay, so you see that here in the setup, it's the same setup basically. You have created a small cinema at home then. Right. And because we've developed that for home application, we also know how to do that for cinemas. Right, actually. and you have a cinema product as well. Right? Exactly, that was my okay. transition to the cinema product. <laughs> now, cinema projectors being much bigger and having much bigger lenses, yes. uh, we have not set it up on this cozy booth, <laughs> but we have the picture here which can show you that this is about the same idea. We have a liquid crystal panel on a ready out of the box solution. And when I mean out of the box, it's actually literally because it comes like a closed box here. And then you see from this uh, a graphic uh, inspiration that you push a button, it goes up, and now it's ready to work. So it's actually like buying a BMW with its garage. Right. Okay, so you have a high quality product that when you don't use it, you want it to be stored away. Right. And this is very adapted for cinema with lots of remote control features. Okay, so these are just remote control. There's no actual, like, no image there, data going. Into. No, there's just a synchronization signal and uh, all information exchanged so that cinema operators can, for example, on their iPad or their iPhone, if they have a right TMS system, check if the 3D system is up and running, if it's been stored away, if it's a 2D show, and that everything is just working as it should be. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess let's talk about pricing. Uh, say if I wanted to add this to my 3D projector at home, how much am I looking at? So you should be uh, counting for 1,500 um, to 1,800 US dollars. Okay. And so you guys have US distribution already? So we have a subsidiary in Los Angeles that is working with distributors in North America. Okay. So if you go to our website, volfoni.com, you will find the corresponding people that can help you get in, in touch with the distributors. Cool. Uh, what about for the cinema product? And the cinema product is priced at 18,000 $18, US dollars. Sorry. Okay. So the change between Euro and uh, US dollars is not that strong yet, but sometimes made me mix up the numbers. Uh, I guess, give me a rough idea too. An active, like, say a pair of active shutter glasses like these versus a pair of uh, passive polarized glasses. Well, we can be specific about these because this, I know, this is about um, 60 euros 
retail price, including taxes. And this should happen between five and 10, depending on the packaging, and if you buy it in professional or larger quantities. So that makes it suitable for, uh, you know, having, as you mentioned before, like a classroom type setting as well. Right? Yes, well, actually, we made some calculation because you need a special screen. Um, there are some costs in there that is the screen is a bit more expensive. But if you're between 15 to 20 people on a pure economic basis, probably that shutter glasses would be the right solution. If you're more people, then you probably want the type of passive glasses. Right. Okay, excellent. Well, I hope you will enjoy your next 3D architecture presentation <laughs> or 3D film with 3D. And if there's any questions, just contact us. Okay. We'll be glad to help. Thank you. You're welcome.